Welcome to the roost. Today we're going to play with some of the foil frenzy paper and the um, embossing paste to make a birthday card that's kind of got a patriotic flair to it. <clears throat> so we're going to start with our embossing paste and one of the palette knives. And I'm just going to take this little diamond shaped one. Now I have an, um, a mask that uh, it's from a few years ago I believe. And we're just going to spread this embossing paste in white. We're not going to color it or add anything to it. Now, it is a little tricky on this mask because I, I don't want all of the stars in. So just a few in the corner. Now one thing that you do have to do with the um, embossing paste is clean your, your masks and your tools up immediately. <clears throat> now if you're doing, if you're going to do a couple of them, you know, in a row, I would suggest cleaning your mask between each one because this stuff really, really dries fast and it will uh, wreck your masks. So just go ahead and, and clean it off in between each one. Now you can also wash them up in the, in the sink. Now I did get a little bit of this on here that I didn't want. This is sweet. Now we're just going to set that off to the side and let it dry while we work on the, um, okay, so I'm just going to stick with the rich razzleberry kind of through everything here because that is the foil paper that I've chosen. And this is the labels, or I'm sorry, label me pretty stamp set. It has a couple of really pretty, um, labels and then some of them you can put um, other greetings on the inside too. Now I've chosen to use the happy birthday one for this because I, um, I'm celebrating my birthday this week so I'm kind of on a birthday theme. And then there's this matching label punch so we can just quickly punch that out and then we're going to do some silver foil to layer behind it. So we're just going to keep this kind of shiny and then we're just going to offset this a little bit so we see the, um, the silver foil. Go ahead and lay this on here. Now for this one I am not going to color in the flowers but you can, if you like, take some of your markers and go ahead and color in the flowers. Either way. Now I'm going to add some of the metallic gold thread and usually about three wraps around your three fingers is good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this onto my, um, my back here before I put this onto my, my card base. I've got a piece of the berry, berry burst. Oh, yeah, this is berry burst. And I'm going to layer this on some um, crumb cake because we have the um, the craft paper on here. Just kind of, kind of make it stick to the same theme. And I am trying to put this together without leaving my. Um, my stars dry. This is not the way I would normally do it, but normally I would put the adhesive on the back of this piece. And I'll push that down later. But there, a kind of a patriotic birthday card for a, um, a July birthday. So hope you've enjoyed this quick and easy card using our new embossing paste and um, hop on over to my website if you want to purchase some of the embossing paste and I do recommend um, when you get the embossing paste that you also get the the palette knives and there are some masks as well um, not the one that I use today but 
and the silicone sheet because the silicone sheet is super easy to clean up um, if you get any of this embossing paste on it. It will actually just kind of peel off after everything's dry. So hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day and see you again next time.